Hi everyone, this is Nick, and in today's video I'm going to address a question that I got over on YouTube from Amanda, who watched our Diverging Stacked Bar Chart video, and she asked a question if we could put the labels, the uh, y-axis labels here, the clean place, safe place, welcoming place, if we could put those in the middle of the chart between very and extremely and uh, moderately, slightly, and not at all. So basically, if could we put the labels in the middle of the chart at the midpoint? Now, I don't know if you would want to do this um, for survey data like this, because I think it can be kind of important to make sure that the entire scale of the survey is shown in sort of a single continuum. Um, but of course, it is possible. There's so many possibilities uh, with Excel. So I'm going to show you what it might look like if we put those labels in between uh, the ratings at that midpoint, at that diverging midpoint here. So you have uh, my chart right here. This is my uh, data source, my data table here. Go back and watch the diverging stacked bar chart video. Uh, if you would like to. This one was built in a di little bit of a different way uh, than that one, but you can kind of get the gist of that. Also, we have another video on tornado charts that uses this technique too. So what you need to do if you want to add um, the middle category here, we need to add a data series. So I'm going to add this data series over here. I'm going to call it labels. And this could be any random value, but what you need is you need the bars, uh, the width to be big enough so that they will fit your category label. So let's go ahead and say 60% here, and we'll just try that uh, to test it out. And then what you want to do is copy this value down the entire column. So it's going to become a new data series. In the chart, we're going to right click and select data so that the select data source menu pops up. We're going to add a new series and I'm going to point to the labels here and then the series values we're going to give that new we're going to push enter and now we have a new series of data here uh, in the chart you can see these green blocks right here they come at the very end of the chart now we want to move them into the middle so all we need to do here on the select data source menu is use this up arrow to position it exactly where we want so in this case I'm going to say that we move it up right above the very category Perfect, and now you can see it's now moved to the middle of our chart. I'm gonna push OK, and now what we're gonna do is I'm going to clear the color here. We're gonna make this no fill, so over on the Format Data Series menu, we'll say no fill. We're gonna add data labels. Now our data labels pop up. Of course, the 60% is arbitrary. We just need this uh, column for spacing. I'm gonna go over to the Format Data Label menu, open the label options. We're gonna unselect value, and we're gonna select value from cells. And now the data label range box pops up. We're gonna say we want it to point to all of our Y values, our, our label, our survey item labels. Now we're gonna push okay. And now you can see our labels are right in the middle of the chart. Now you can see they, you could, you know, work with the sizing of the chart a little bit. Uh, you can also see some of the colors have um, changed in my chart. So you might have to just go ahead and just update uh, the color. This would be the invisible series here. So I'm gonna make sure that's no fill. And then for some reason, my extremely and very became the same color. So we're gonna go ahead and recolor that. So that's really nice. Here up in the legend, we can just double click the labels and delete that. And I really want more space here. So let's go ahead and edit the label value here. Let's do that to 80%. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy it down. And now that gives a little bit more space. Now what we can do is get rid of our labels here. So either just delete them or go over to the Format Data uh, Access menu under Labels, say None. And now there's nothing there. I'm going to go ahead and say No Line so that that line doesn't show up. Now in this case, uh, we would definitely want to label uh, most of our bars here. If we wanted to do that, we could do that. Uh, because there's no real axis here when you do a chart like this. Uh, and so it kind of doesn't always make sense. But I think in this case, you know, you could really get the point that every single one of our rating items is typically rated very high, except for maybe valuable experience uh, for the money spent. So kind of cost for value rating is lower than some of the other experience ratings here. The other thing that I might change on a chart like this is I'd probably just get rid of the legend and we would probably enter text boxes in this chart so that we could just um, kind of manually put in the legend. It doesn't really make sense to have this moderately be here at the middle. I really want these labels to sort of be closer to where the data are in the chart. And so that uh, makes it a little bit easier for people to read. So I'd probably just delete this and then go up and insert some text boxes like that. 
Um, and I won't do that here for you, but you can get the you can get the point there. All right, so I hope if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks, Amanda, again for the question. Uh, it's really cool to sort of figure out how to do all of these things in Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. And of course, you can do the exact same thing in PowerPoint. Uh, if this chart was in PowerPoint, we would just right click the chart and then click Edit Data. That Source Data menu pops up, and it's just basically an Excel spreadsheet that's embedded inside of your PowerPoint chart. Or, of course, you can always make the chart here, copy it, and then paste it over into your PowerPoint slide. Um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button every time I post a new data design tutorial in PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. You will get notified if you hit that bell. Uh, again, I had a great time making this for you. I hope you had a great time watching it and I hope you have a wonderful day.